Hey there everyone, this is Cloud Chief, and in today's video I'm talking about how you go through the process of making a relic weapon. To start out making it a relic weapon, you first need to farm a base weapon that drops in any of the city dynamuses. You just need to go into dynamis and kill enemies until your weapon drops. Just to note, you do not need to proc, you just need to kill enemies to get the weapon to drop and it is TH based. Next you'll need to farm currency and you'll actually need a decent amount of currency. If you're not aware, you need a lot of currency somewhere in the realm of about 15,000 plus per weapon. So once you have your weapon and you have some currency that is required for your weapon, you can go ahead and head to Castle Vahel Bailey and you can talk to the goblin that's right at the entrance and he will ask for your weapon he will ask for a certain type of currency and he will ask for three crafted materials after you trade him that you then wait a game day and he will give you back your stage one weapon next you will need to trade him your stage one weapon along with some more currency and three different lower level weapons that are of the same class most of these weapons you should be able to buy from a sparks npc after a two hour wait after trading all the items he will then give you your stage two weapon next you need to head to glacier and you need to kill farmer nms uh each farmer nm will pop in a different tower and will drop three different adaptation uh drops and you'll need a specific one that is for your weapon type. To get the pop for the NM, you'll need to fight just regular former NMs for a particular drop that you can use to pop the NM. Once you have the test, you go ahead and trade your weapon, the test, and even more currency to the goblin, and then after an hour wait, he will give you your stage 3 weapon. And for the last step, you'll need to head to Zark. You'll need two items from here. First, you'll need a Necroscythe that drops off of Shadow Dragons that are near the castle. And you'll need a Fragment that drop off of an animated weapon that is the weapon of the same type that you're working on. You can actually get the pop item for the animated weapon from uh, lesser weapons that you'll see around the zone of the same type. The Fragment is a 100% drop. So once you have your stage 3 weapon, you have the fragment, you have the necroscythe, and you've collected the 10,000 piece, you go ahead and go to a certain location. You no longer need to go to the goblin, and the location will be different per your weapon. You trade all those items, and they will give you the level 75 relic and 3,000 uh, currency of the same currency type that was the 10,000 that you traded. To further upgrade it, you need to then go do Magian Trials, and then after you get it to 99, you can go talk to Obero and upgrade it to 119, but I will go over that in another video. By the way, you can get 100 pieces by trading single Dynamis currency to the goblins that are at the Beastman Castle. So example, you can trade bronze pieces to the goblin that's at the entrance of the Void, for one silver piece if you trade a hundred. Also, if you trade in a hundred, one hundred pieces, they will give you the 10,000 piece. And that's how you go about the process of upgrading your relic. I hope you can see that it isn't too bad, just the hardest part is farming all the currency, but just with a little bit of time, energy, and effort, you can get it done. I hope you're working on your relic and getting one done because they're definitely nice weapons. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you got some value out of it, and may you have success in all you do.